This is lecture number 10, the application layer computer security. Today we're going to talk about computer security in terms of authentication, malicious code, and security attacks. Authentication is information a user provides to identify themselves for computer access. For example, they can use a username and password method. So I know you've seen those uh, login pages on a website that's basically typing your username and typing your password. Another possibility is you can use a smart card. It has identification information inside of a magnetic strip that contains an embedded memory card with an ID information about you. Biometrics is basically when you use any human characteristics such as fingerprints, face images, retina patterns, patterns, or voice patterns to identify users. Fingerprints are pretty well known for being unique. It's said that every human has 10 unique fingerprints, which means that every finger has a different fingerprint. And also it's been shown that identical twins also have different fingerprints, even though they are identical twins, except for their fingerprints. Malicious code is a computer program that attempts to bypass appropriate authorizations and or performs unauthorized functions. And we're going to talk about four types of uh, malicious code. One is the virus. This is a program that embeds a copy of itself into another program and when the files execute the virus code runs as well. So a lot of times I know you guys have seen like Word may have a virus or PowerPoint may have a virus. So the virus code is attached to a real program and when the real program runs the virus also runs. A worm is slightly different. It's self-replicating but it doesn't require a host program to infect. So it doesn't have to be attached to another program. It can be a standalone program. And it often targets network resources. The Trojan Horse program is a program that appears to be helpful but causes problems to your computer while running. It may appear like it is benevolent while running. So you know in the story of the, the Trojan Horse story, well they put the Trojan Horse inside the city gates and inside the Trojan Horse was soldiers and that night the soldiers came out and took over the city. So this is the exact same process with the Trojan Horse program. So you download something on the web, it's free, you can do something really useful for you, but at the end of the day it's really hurting your computer. Logic Bomb is code that executes when a specific system event occurs, for example on a certain date and time. In 1999, before the year 2000, there was a sense that our computers were under a logic bomb and so when 2000 hit it was thought that because of the date shift from a new to a new century the programs would execute a logic bomb which would crash a lot of systems so a logic bomb is basically just waiting dormant to something that happens something triggers it security attacks attack some computer systems to gain access let's talk about these here password guessing repeatedly trying to log into a system by guessing the password this is usually done by a computer program trying thousands of possibilities per second Pensing, using a web page to masquerade as part of an authoritative system and tricking users into revealing security information. So, for example, if you bank at Bank of America, you may go to Bank of America, but it could be a, a site that looks just like Bank of America and is waiting for you to put in your security information. Backdoor is a program feature that gives special and unauthorized access to computer systems to anyone who knows it exists. This is almost kind of like having cheat codes in a video game. So you're playing a video game, you enter a certain set of keystrokes, you can get in through the back door. Buffer overflow, attempting to store more information in a memory location than it can accommodate, which caused the system to crash and leave it in a weakened state. So remember in our study of RAM, RAM can be stored in certain chunks of memory up to say 32 bits. If you try to put 34 bits in there, it's going to force it to overflow into another memory unit and that's going to create a weakened state for the system. Denial of service is caused by flooding a website or network with communication package that keeps it so busy that it can't deal with authorized users. So it's almost like imagine somebody trying to go to a website at a million times a second. That's going to crash the entire website. So that's like creating a denial of service. Man in the middle is when someone has access to communication path at some point in a network and listen to the traffic as it goes by with the goal of intercepting the key information. It's almost like you're in a restaurant and you're trying to speak to somebody else in front of you but somebody else is eavesdropping in your conversation. That's what man in the middle is. And that ends our lecture today.